From the decks of military ships to the atmosphere and further on into space, unmanned aircraft are taking over flight for pilots and giving us greater capabilities. This is Glenn and today we are bringing you 15 innovative unmanned aircraft. Number 15. Facebook bought Ascenta, a small British company, in 2014 to build what founder Mark Zuckerberg hoped would bring internet access to impoverished parts of the world with drones that could fly 60,000 feet above the ground while flying for months without landing. Facebook has made splashy announcements over the last four years about building a fleet of solar-powered drones with wingspans bigger than a Boeing 737, but weighing just as much as a grand piano. After a successful test flight in 2016, the drone initiative, Project Akia, suffered several setbacks, with one test flight ending with a crash landing and a broken wing. 2018, Facebook announced it would no longer build the drones, but would instead rely on other companies to build aircraft. Number 14. The Chevelle Group focuses on the development, testing, and production of the revolutionary Camcopter S-100 unmanned air system that has a proven capability for civilian and military applications. It operates under adverse weather conditions, day or night, with a range of up to 125 miles on land or at sea and needs no staging area or supporting launch and recovery equipment for the vertical takeoff and landing. The S-100 can be operated with a pilot control unit or automatically via pre-programmed GPS waypoints. And using fly-by-wire technology controlled by redundant flight computers, it can complete its mission in the most complex electromagnetic environments. Number 13. Incorporating an innovative modular design concept that combines a short turnaround time and built-in test functionality, the modified R350 was used as an unmanned test helicopter and included two specific payloads from ESG using light detection and ranging LIDAR with an EOIR geostabilized camera. It has a max airspeed of 75 miles per hour, can deploy multiple payloads at the same time, and because it weighs under 330 pounds maximum takeoff weight, it only needs national certification to be able to fly. This includes a jet turbine that can be changed in less than 15 minutes and a propulsion unit that can be replaced in less than 45 minutes, both of them running on Jet A1 and JP8 heavy fuels. Number 12. The Magma is an unmanned aircraft manufactured by BAE Systems, which will use a unique blown air system to maneuver the plane and will pave the way for future stealthier aircraft designs. Two methods are used to steer the craft. Wing circulation control takes air from a jet engine and blows it at supersonic speeds over the trailing edge of the wing. And another system, fluidic thrust vectoring, uses jets of air to deflect the engine exhaust, which can make the drone change course. When there are no hinge lines or large moving surfaces, a plane is less likely to be detected by radar with the aim of creating an aircraft that flies without using any moving surfaces. Number 11. The MQ-8C Fire Scout, an unmanned helicopter the Navy hopes will increase the lethality of the service's new combat ships. According to Northrop Grumman, the MQ-8C can take off and land autonomously from any aviation-capable ship and can carry out search and rescue operations anti-surface, anti-submarine, and mine warfare. Fire Scout can fly for 11.5 hours for a range of 300 miles by providing targeting data for the LCS's over-the-horizon surface missile. Company plans to upgrade to a new radar and data link, allowing it to send air-to-air -air and surface targeting information to surface ships. Number 10. The MQ-9B Sky Guardian, is produced by General Atomics Aeronautical Systems Incorporated and is the first medium altitude, long endurance, remotely piloted aircraft to fly across the Atlantic nonstop. Piloted by an operator located at its base in Grand Forks, North Dakota, the Sky Guardian 
flew 3,760 miles, landing in Fairford, Gloucestershire in just 24 hours and two minutes. With a wingspan of 79 feet and the capability of flying non-stop for over 40 hours, this has an extensively tested collision system and type certification, allowing for unrestricted operations in any airspace. Number nine. NASA's Prantl D is based on a concept that can significantly enhance control and eliminate the need for a vertical tail while leading to new aircraft designs. The aircraft could reduce drag by 11% with a new method of determining the wing shape with a twist. The first two subscale aircraft had a 12 and a half foot wingspan, with number three first flown on October 28, 2015, having doubled the wingspan, 25 feet of the earlier versions. Each aircraft was radio operated with a hobby grade controller and launched with a bungee cord system. Looking like a giant boomerang and constructed of carbon fiber, fiberglass and foam, this is lightweight at 28 pounds, has an airspeed of 18 knots and a maximum test altitude of 220 feet. Number 8 Martin's VBAT series aircraft is the only single-engine ducted fan VTOL that can take off and land from a hover and can make mid-flight transitions to hover and stare at any time throughout a given mission set. The drone is 84 pounds, has a total flight time of 8 hours with an hour of reserve fuel, has a top speed of 90 knots, a maximum altitude of 15,000 feet, and a maximum range of 350 miles. Successfully conducting ISR missions at ranges more than 50 miles, the VBAT performed at a more strategic altitude and demonstrated its capability of integrated flight with a tracking antenna. Number 7 The Predator C Avenger drone is manufactured by General Atomic Aeronautical Systems and has demonstrated its ability to handle itself on an aircraft deck, including taxi capability, and transitioning from launch to recovery phases. This drone can integrate with flight deck operations and follow the directions of the director who can control the drone's taxi operations, including spreading and folding the wings, lowering and raising the launch bar, and raising the arresting hook. The drone can also talk back to the controller and other flight deck personnel using LED lights that change colors and or flash to indicate the aircraft's operating state or condition and show that they have received a command. Number 6 Making its international debut at the 2017 Paris Air Show, the Night Warden Tactical Unmanned Aircraft System is manufactured by Textron Systems and is the production-ready version of the Shadow M2 which was first flown in 2012. This unmanned aircraft has a blended wing and an improved propulsion system that uses a new reduced noise water-cooled rotary engine that has a higher electrical output than previous versions with a payload capacity of 130 pounds. It has a range of 683 miles and a top speed of 90 knots. The Night Warden has already undergone testing and has 400 flight hours in the Mideast and Asia Pacific region and in Europe where it demonstrated its ability to operate independent of runways using its automated takeoff and landing system, remote taxi system, enhanced landing gear, and air vehicle parachute for emergencies. Number 5 The High Altitude Pseudo Satellite Opus Duo, a solar aircraft manufactured by UAVOS, a 10 meter prototype was made for testing control algorithms, including takeoff and landing, and full scale verification of HAPS aerodynamics. Once developed, the Opus Duo HAPS will be used for a wide range of tasks such as video surveillance and monitoring, drone communication systems, broadband coverage, frequency jamming, and target destination. This is intended for long-term monitoring at various latitudes around the globe and will serve as a telecommunication hub. It will carry a 2-kilogram payload for up to 365 days at a latitude of 20 degrees, have a wingspan of 91 feet, a weight of 50 pounds and can perform flights at an altitude up to 65,600 feet. Number 4 
2017, the X-37B, a semi-secret space plane, headed yet again to Earth orbit, where you can find the International Space Station and all sorts of commercial and military satellites. The mission was slated to last 270 days, depending on test objectives, on-orbit vehicle performance, and conditions at the landing facility. According to the Air Force, the primary objectives of the X-37B are operating experiments which can be returned to and examined on Earth, and reusable spacecraft technologies for America's future in space. Tarmac, weighing in at just 11,000 pounds and a wingspan of fewer than 15 feet. It circled the Earth in obscurity for more than half a year before being identified by some amateur satellite observers. Number 3 Developed by the American defense technology company Northrop Grumman, the X-47B is an unmanned combat air vehicle demonstrator designed for aircraft carrier-based operations. The X-47B is a tailless, blended wing-body aircraft capable of subsonic speed, semi-autonomous operation, and aerial refueling. It has a length of 38 feet, a wingspan of 62 feet, a range of 2,100 nautical miles and a maximum altitude of 40,000 feet. Using the hand controller, the deck operator can maneuver the X-47B onto the catapult, run the engine to tension the cat, check the flight surfaces are clear and indicate that the aircraft is ready to launch, then hand over control to the mission operator below decks. Number 2 Sikorsky, now owned by Lockheed Martin, is nearing completion of the first UH-60 outfitted with an aftermarket robotic co-pilot kit that can help plan and execute missions with a pilot either in the cockpit or remotely operating the aircraft. Sikorsky has taken a standard UH-60A and installed fly-by-wire flight controls and supervised autonomy that includes degraded visual environment mitigation and other technologies. Marking the culmination of about a decade of work by Sikorsky, the U.S. Army, and the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, the optionally piloted Black Hawk is nearly complete and going through ground check. The Army also plans to build its own experimental Black Hawk using the technology for potentially using it on the entire legacy UH-60 fleet. Number 1 a major victory for Boeing that has in recent years struggled to win combat aircraft contracts, the company has won the Navy's tanker drone contract, bringing the future of unmanned aircraft carrier aviation to the U.S. Navy with its MQ-25. An unmanned aircraft system designed for U.S. Navy missions, it will provide the needed robust refueling capability, thereby extending the combat range of deployed Boeing EA-18G Growler, Lockheed Martin F-35C fighters, and the Boeing F-A-18 Super Hornet. Delivering carrier aircraft to the Navy for more than 90 years, Boeing's MQ-25 is ready. The $805 million contract covering the fabrication, development, design, delivery, and testing for Stingray aircraft. Hey guys, this is Cassie. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell us in the comments below what you found to be the most interesting and why. Also, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.